Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clone the content of your hard drive using Semantic Goals. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do, we need to start the Semantic Goals boot wizard. So we can create a bootable USB flash drive uh, in order to clone uh, the hard drive. So I'm gonna say Goals. Uh, the default is to create a Windows uh, pre-install environment. So that's the one that I'm going to choose. So I'm going to click Next. I'm going to uh, choose the standard goes uh, boot disk, which has support for TCP and uh, CD DVD. I'm going to click next. I want to include the goes 32.exe. Click next. Here, um, you enter your credentials for a network share that you want to map to your uh, bootable disk. Uh, we're not going to save the image to the network share, so I'm going to click next. Uh, DHCP will be assigning the IP address, so I'm going to click Next. Um, here you can uh, plug in the USB drive and choose to burn uh, the uh, the GOES uh, installation to a USB drive. Uh, but since I'm doing this in a, a virtual machine, I'm going to save it to an ISO file. Click Save. And I'm going to click Next. Here you will include any files that you want in your bootable USB. I'm going to click next and here you enter any commands that you want executed once you boot up your uh, computer. I'm going to click next and I'm going to let it finish. All right, once it's done, go ahead and click finish. Now, uh, plugged in the USB drive on the computer for which you want to clone the hard drive and boot, make sure the computer can boot up from the USB drive. All right, so once the finished booting up, just go ahead and click OK. Uh, we are cloning a local hard drive, so I'm going to say, I'm going to click on local. This will be a disk. Now here you have uh, three options. You can either clone from disk to disk. This will be an identical uh, copy of your hard drive to another disk, a disk that you can plug into your computer or you can choose to save it to an image, either a either a, a hard drive you have connected, an external hard drive that you have connected to your computer, or you can save it to a network location. Um, if, you, if you need to save it to a network location, you need to include the uh, drivers for your computer uh, to make sure that it can communicate on the network. So I'm going to do a disk to disk. So I'm going to select this. Here I need to select the source disk and click OK, and then the destination disk. I'm going to click OK, uh, double check the configuration, make sure that everything is OK, and finally click OK. All right, so uh, proceed with uh, this clone. Go ahead and click Yes, or um, another thing that you can do, if you want to save it as an image, you can select Disk to Image, select your source disk, and then here you need to select the drive, the second drive, uh, which will be available here and save the image. I believe that saving the image is a, a better option, uh, especially if your computer or your operating system becomes corrupted and then you can boot up the, the, the operating system, you can restore from an image in a matter of minutes and then you can restore your documents and from backup. Uh, at least that's what I do. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, remember to subscribe, give it a like, and see you in the next video.